Okay, so uh, today class in the recruitment and selection, I will be uh, discussing the chapter four, we talk, which uh, talks about uh, how technology is modifying human resources in the recruitment and selection. Now, um, it is a known fact that recruitment and resourcing involve uh, attracting and selecting individuals uh, into a job role no, as it is as a whole. And then the length and complexity of uh, the recruitment process will vary uh, depending on an organization's size and resources. You now that includes the financial resources of uh, the company. And then um, on the other hand, um, the selection is the process of collecting and the evaluating information about the individual of an individual in order to extend an offer of employment. So it is necessary that you recognize it, that, uh, uh, yeah, but uh, the process of collecting and evaluating information on how uh, you, uh, a company could offer a particular employment opportunities for the applicant. So, so that is how it goes. Now, the process is being performed under legal and environmental constraint and addresses the future interest of the organization and the individual. And it is found in the reference by Gatewood in 2011. Yeah, okay. Now, uh, recruitment and selection and the entire HR department and their performance is unquestionably relevant uh, for companies and their success and their successes. Now, uh, some economies will argue, no, or some companies will argue, that human resource development is crucial and essential now more than ever, as technology has recently been modifying employees' tasks and needs in the workplace. Um, it is coupled with how they are even recruited, no, the process, and the real estate business businessman uh, for example Steve Wynn no? is the businessman no? is real estate uh, clearly states that the human resources uh, is not only a thing we do uh, but it is a thing that runs our business because remember that the companies are investing a lot of uh, resources for them to be able to attract good uh, as we have discussed earlier not the good and the uh, exceptional no? if uh, if I may know exceptional uh, personnel not to join the company because companies are actually investing heavily on good uh, people to run the business okay now in the advent of the information technology uh, in the process uh, integrating it into procedures and processes of how you recruit and select uh, potential uh, partners through human resource uh, the automation and technology is changing the companies uh, in, in, in terms of hiring the employees. And uh, this uh, uh, supports why companies and their managers focus on relying you know, heavily uh, to improve and develop uh, and be innovative as well as um, marking down the hiring cost even and introducing more efficient, uh, uh, efficient ways in hiring strategies and allowing methods from the artific artificial intelligence algorithms to uh, uh, chatbots or social media interaction even and uh, identifying suitable profiles is also the uh, uh, decisive and truly essential essentials uh, in a way as in the in some other countries actually are Actually, 15% of all the uh, uh, candidates have uh, uh, exaggerated about their experience and professional career. Uh, and once or more times in an interview, or in the inter interview process, so you, you expect that uh, uh, all of the informations are being, you know, uh, laced with a lot of lies. Uh, or even, you know, uh, uh, giving a lot of information that are not actually true to each form. So uh, there are lots of things that, that, that are like that, deceptive in nature. Now, these reasons will support why companies 
and their managers focus on um, implying on trying to improve and develop innovative and uh, more efficient hiring strategies and methods from artificial intelligence and the one I have uh, explained a while ago through the social media interactions so it is important right now uh, the um, the engagement of the social media and the development of the social media into the hiring processes so if you will notice a lot of uh, companies are now are on not only engaged in a face-to-face -face, uh, recruitment process but allowing the social media to to lessen their workload for them okay um uh, so every employee has actually undergone a, a recruitment and selection process that is planned by the hiring company and according to some resources in Bratton and Gold in 2017 uh, planning is conditioned conditioned by what the staffing needs of the organizations are in a certain moment based on external or internal circumstances and once defined, the requirement, the recruitment is only effective if it is attractive and engaging for potential candidates. So remember that. Put, uh, I will repeat now. It is only the recruitment is only effective if it is attractive, uh, attractive, and engaging for the potential candidates, probable candidates. Okay. And this can be achieved through a uh, new communication channel. So how? Uh, online job advertisement, in general, specialist job, uh, specialists or job boards, social media sources or corporate websites are also being engaged or with more traditional ways of recruitment, such as advertising in newspapers, the career fairs, are open days uh, 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 or are open rather no uh, 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 given in a particular days and open in particular hours no and days and that's it no so uh, there so uh, 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 the uh, information are more accessible online now uh, recruitment methods used by companies varies uh, depending on the applicant's role. So it differs. Now there are a lot of uh, a lot of strategies and a lot of uh, uh, yeah a lot of ways now for the companies that are engaging into the social media uh, or uh, online or information technology uh, uh, recruitment process. Now once the recruitment process is finished and an applicant pool is available for the company, uh, uh, the step is the selection procedure. How does it go? Uh, now, as mentioned by, uh, by some referencing of the other companies, uh, companies can use different assessment methods to find the best candidates with the appropriate profile for the job. See? So interviews, which can be done online through telephone or mobile, mobile phone or computer laptop or anything that are communically communicate uh, the communication is can be accessed um, test assessment uh, centers or gamification or uh, online game for applicants to demonstrate uh, code breaking skills are now being engaged uh, we call it CIPD okay as recently re, uh, reported by uh, by some companies in the principal market segment innovations now, at present, the recruitment and selection are all based sourcing, or rather, uh, uh, in, uh, uh, information technology based intelligence, now AI based sourcing, uh, it, which is done in videos and social assessment, social media assessment. So, uh, there. Now, the advanced analytics, uh, the behavior assessments, and the gig and contingent work management are also being engaged now talent is found uh, more easily as a result of making use of these methods and other related to technology now the final phases are measured by the uh, measured employee performance 
and analyze it uh, to start uh, over. Okay? Uh, we give a very good example in the case study being provided by Unilever. So later on, I'm going to be giving uh, some um, uh, yeah, uh, assignment uh, as regards to case studies. And this time, I'm going to uh, uh, allow you to... Uh, uh, or, or share, no? The, I will share you to you the Unilever case study. Now, Unilever, uh, it is known already as one of the biggest uh, companies I know that are can be found in the different countries, including the Philippines. Now, there is no doubt that Unilever is one of the largest companies in the world, no? And not only because they produce and manufacture products uh, for more than uh, more than four hundred different brands. With 2.5 billion, I will repeat, 2.5 billion daily users worldwide, uh, daily users. And that is based on the Unilever in 2019 as a reference. Uh, and But also by number of employees of almost 170,000 worldwide. Huge, no? Okay? So that is uh, based on Auler 2019 references. Now, Unilever recruits more than uh, 30,000 people a year and processes around 1.8 job applications in over 190 countries. That is uh, based on the references found in Forbes 2018. Now, uh, for these reasons alone, uh, the, uh, the uh, uh, the British Dutch transnational company recently started making use of new technologies uh, for its uh, 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 selection process. Uh, you could just imagine. Now, in jobs that require dealing with customers or public facing in general, now facial features and body language are crucial in assessing an, an applicant. And this goes along with other features such as the professional skills and the work experience. It has to be divulged no, in all honesty and clearly and should be stipulated in the application process. Now, specifically, they are using the, uh, right now, no, in, 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 by using the uh, artificial intelligence and the IT. So uh, they are using the virtual video interviewing software. And it is being developed by uh, a lot of uh, big companies right now. That avoids long face-to-face -face interviews and bureaucracy. So that is one way to curb it and to prevent all of these things. Now, during the candidate assessment, the process of selection of, uh, or selecting the perfect candidates is not influenced by external factors alone. Now, as using har vu hire VU, it's an application, a face-to-face -face interview application, uh, uh, spells as, I don't know, H-I-R-E, no, hire, VU, V-U-E, hire VU uh, application, no? so uh, it's a software, that means there is no human interactions at first, uh, it is just the software and the candidate so that uh, bias or possible racial or gender or any other type of discrimination is eliminated. So that is what the virtual video interviewing software by Hire Group View is being, uh, you know, engaged you know, for that purpose. Now, according to uh, a recent Hire View study, now Unilever is saving over one million pounds. Convert it, convert it into dollars in peso, one million pounds, as well as thousands of hours in HR procedures every year since they changed the selection methods and started using a more dynamic technological system, including algorithms, and that is way back in 2017. Uh, accurately, uh, it's 50,000 hours for candidates in interviews or cover letters and a 90% of assessment and selection times reduction for the company 
which is the Harvey in 2018. Okay, so you could just imagine, you know, so uh, the, the, the engagement of uh, the um, technology into the hiring and selection process. And, it, and, and a very good example that I have shared to you is about what happened in uh, Unile Unilever. So there. Uh, what does uh, this technology in recruitment and selection benefit uh, as a benefit? Now, uh, time and cost efficient or effective hiring is being uh, you know introduced now by uh, having technology in the recruitment and selection process. Now, for both candidates and employers, now automating high volume tasks. So, that is how, uh, yeah, one of the benefits. Another benefit is that it is effective resources allocation, meaning technology and AI allows companies to spend those hours and money resources uh, save in other departments of the corporation or in supporting over human or HR selections. Another benefit is screening and shortlisting the right candidates. Now, with a more proactive and a more precise candidate pool as a result after selecting them. So, you, you save a lot of uh, time and effort by screening and shortlisting the right candidates. Now, next, a benefit is improvement in data administration. Now, paperwork now is online. And computer-based uh, uh, communication process is now being engaged, as well as it is environmentally friendly, uh, paperless. No? So there. Now another uh, benefit is uh, uh, new recruiting management. So applicant tracking, management, and reporting are now being efficiently uh, managed. No. Uh, uh, efficiently because of the tracking devices okay now if there are benefits there are also challenges so what are these so the challenges are impersonality meaning lack of human touch as almost eight out of every ten candidates who have searched for a job in the past five years stated uh, that they prefer human interactions throughout the course of job hunt so that's a uh, uh, one challenge no so uh, impersonality or lack of uh, human touch the next one is the social uh, recruitment intrusion what does it mean at uh, tools uh, start judging judging rather applicants on their uh, digital footprints uh, rejecting high quality profiles are inevitable so that is how you uh, make that uh, no, no, uh, engagement another challenge is the possible data security breach you know very well that uh, right now a lot of uh, yeah uh, confidential databases are being you know uh, yeah exposed no, to uh, whoever and that's very dangerous so attack to confidential databases with sensitive personal information would be highly harmful and a matter to be aware of no? so that's how HR are going to be resolving no? so that's one of the challenges now another challenge is the uh, fraudulent applicant attraction okay so at first uh, some candidates uh, without the proper requirements can try apply for the job now this makes the process inefficient so that is how, you know, these are the challenges. If there are benefits, so the corresponding challenges as the one we have discussed now uh, a while ago. Okay, now uh, I guess I have uh, provided you, you know, the angles that are needed to be known in chapter in the in chapter now uh, chapter four that it's the engagement of a uh, human resource management in information technology. Human and brother. In selection uh, uh, recruitment and selection uh, in Yuma uh, there now so uh, in chapter 4 so that the integration in the recruitment and selection on the information technology okay so okay thank you very much so I'll uh, so I have already discussed chapter 4